Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Tony B's Bees. And that this will probably be episode one since I'm gonna make it the original start one. Anyways, I was surfing Facebook and someone asked if they knew or could remove uh, some bees out of their wall. And for me, I'd like to do it, but I have my limitations with my hip and everything, so. There's certain ones I can do and certain ones I can't do. A lot that I can't do. I can't go up high. I can't do a lot of things. But this one was two feet off the ground and it's perfect. It's just a little two by two square. So it's going to be real easy to do. Let me show you what we got going. Yeah, I'm all hooked up. I took the door off and I'm going to get ready to start aggravating them. What we're working with. I got there and I want to actually take and put them in the frames there. I want to add those honeycombs into the frames. So we're going to get this to go and see how this works out. I'm going to use my Rambo blade here to heat up with the torch and then make my cuts through there. Once I start doing that, they're going to get pissed. Dang, this wind is beyond brutal. I'm putting on a black glove in case I have to grab that queen. I don't want to hurt her with the regular white gloves. Now I'm dealing with the African honeybee which is a lot more moodier than the regular honeybees. My dream is to one day raise regular honeybees. Got my torch here. Let me see my frames I got ready. Right there. And I'm using rubber bands. I'm going to hold the wax cones in there with that. Oh, dang it. I didn't realize it quit recording on me. But anyway first part I was working on it went and fell and collapsed under the ground but I'm taking off the empty cone and I'm keeping the this is full of a pollen right here and some honey there so I'm trying to get that frame size like so I don't know if you can see all that honey that dripped all over this already and stuff on that frame hey guys that one frame you can see some of the honey there all that honey there so I'm gonna put this one in the box right now they're taking all the honey out of the combs in that one give them five ten minutes I'll have that all cleared out I'm going to scoot this up so if this one falls down, all the bees will come right into this hive. I'm glad the wind calmed down a little bit. Come on. Oh, there's another comb behind it. This one's probably got the queen in it. Can I see queen? See if we can see the queen here. 
don't see nothing of the queen yet. Okay, we have honey and stuff. They're starting to camp right up into here. We have all this capped off up here. So I want to actually keep this upper part of this frame here. So we're going to line it up, match it up here. Right there. This time I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try keeping this up. Stay away, bees. You don't want to touch this. I'm coming through with some hot knife. I'm coming through, hot knife. Come on. I'd like to save both of these combs if I can. All right, thank you, God. Let's put this comb. Guys are coming like this queen in there, huh? No queen. There you go. Watch out. Can you see the larvae for the other ones? I killed a bunch of bees right there. Shame on me. Those will not survive. But all, they'll take care of all their other brood here. The knife thing worked really well. Look at how nice that cut went. They're more likely to build on their own comb than they will this fake generic stuff I got. This polymeric stuff. That one's perfect. Look at that. They're going to love that one. So I just take some wood glue, some Elmer's wood glue, put a little bit in there, a little there, a little on the sides here, on each side. Set that in there, get it in there, get it in, work that glue around a little bit, down up in here. Take a rubber band. Time, just in case the queen's on this, I'm just going to shake it into the box. She may be behind there. <sighs> no, nope, there's hardly anything on that one, so I don't even have to do that. <laughs> oh, sorry, bees. Blame it on the wind. Save this one. This one right here. Oh, fresh. 
fresh honey here. That's what I want. This is what I want right here. My just reward. Watch out, you guys. I'm sorry, I gotta do this to you. right there folks had some, this one was about ready to hatch. Let me just drop that in the bottom. So if they do hatch, they can survive. Oh, I wish I could lick that honey I just saw dripping. Oh my goodness, it's just dripping. Oh, I like it. either. Queen bees at. Up in that tight little corner there. Let me get all this scruff out of the way.
Okay. I see a problem. You can see them crawling up in there and out. See that? I got a home up there. Same thing up in there. I don't know if you can see up there into them cracks. And down and through there. I don't know if you can see them crawling up in there and out. See that? They got a home up there. Same thing up in there. I don't know if you can see up there into them cracks. And, and down and through there. So, and if they're building out right here, I wouldn't be surprised if all of this that they can get through and stuff, whatever space they have is already packed and full. Okay, you guys. As you can see, I cleared out this all and the old honeycomb, anything that's got any honey left in it, I left up here for the bees to go ahead and clean out real quickly. Once that's all done, it'll just blow away and because it'll get very light once I let honey go. So the bees can work on here. We're going to see if I caught the queen bee. I do not know if I caught her or not and if she's in this box or not when I shook the shook them in there. She could be in here and she could be up in this wall here. We're going to wait 72 hours, see if I still have bees in this box and if they're still going in and out of that wall. If so, we're going to have to take this wall apart from probably this part here and this part here and that and all of this. And it's probably full, packed, especially if they're starting to comb up right here, put combs in here. Anyways, I'm leaving the hive here. It's all set up and ready to go. And it's full of bees already and they're doing their thing. And we'll see what happens when I come back. Is that the box you're putting in the truck? This one, yes. Can they go in and out of that? Yes. They're going to be flying around the back of the truck? In the back. But they should pretty much stay where they're at for the most part. To tie it down because when I'm driving it'll slap all around. Are they getting mad? No. They seem to be getting louder. If they're getting mad they'd be all over me. Uh, you should have wore a long sleeve shirt. I'm not worried about it. I'm not aggravating them. I'd be able to pull my truck around and just back it right up to this. Yeah. I appreciate that. That won't be a problem at all. Well, if you do find out that you have a wall full of bees, my vacuum will be here next week. Okay. Yeah, that's melted wax. And that's melted sugar. That's what they want. And that's a pile of sugar. Piece of cake. <laughs> 